Hi guys and welcome back. We're Courts and Meeks and for the last year we've been living in our self-built orange sprinter van named Dee Dee. Despite 2020 being that year that no one will forget, thanks Covid, we managed to explore some amazing places in Europe. Spain, Portugal, Gibraltar, France, Italy, Slovenia, Austria, Czech Republic, Southern Germany, back into Italy and France before returning to the UK. Now we're on a mission to rip out, rebuild and reduce weight in our tiny home on wheels as we prepare for the adventures ahead. Oh, and if you hadn't noticed, we're a tad obsessed with orange. Don't forget to share the love and subscribe. It's free and it's the easiest way to support our channel. In this week's video, we build our space-saving, extendable, floating magic bed. Yes, we're very excited about it. Hey guys, welcome back. Hello. Um, this week it's bed week. Um, <laughs> like we're in the bake-off. Yeah. <laughs> it's build week. It's build week. No, the build-off. It's the build-off. It's the build-off. <laughs> um, and we're going to do things a little differently because as you can tell, we're sitting on the finished bed. Um, it's... We've tried to be as honest as possible on this um, channel, yeah. and uh, today this lockdown's been tough. We've been here for eight weeks now, is it? Yeah, back in the UK for eight weeks. No, oh, we've been in the UK for longer, haven't we? First of November we came back, and it's now middle of January, so oh, yeah, 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 just um, just over maybe. But we've been here um, for eight weeks now, and it's tough, isn't it? Yeah, we're we're really grateful, I think, for you to have family that will let us park on the driveway and do this and live in the house whilst yeah. we're building out our home. Very like, grateful. Your mum has been amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Sue. Shout out. <laughs> she um, is putting up with this massive pile of rubbish that just keeps getting bigger and bigger at the back of the garden. And yeah, she's just been amazing. But yeah, it's not been easy. Yeah, this week has had uh, like so many uh tantrums about the bed and stuff and and lockdown and pressure and things like that um and we wanted to show you basically all the different things we had to think about and redo on the bed as on we went bed. through it yeah um because there was a lot of back and forth wasn't there yeah. we built it once we had this great idea in our minds of how it was going to work and then obviously when you come to do it the reality is maybe slightly different yeah. or the the mechanisms don't work in the way you imagine them to and you have to kind of rethink the whole thing and but as, we had a lot of that so yeah and as we've never done it before that that happened a lot yeah so hopefully in this video we're going to kind of take you back and look back at the last week of all the footage that we've taken and try to show you that that process because we don't want to just show you the the end result you, you should see the reality as yeah. well <laughs> but before that let's show you how it works Okay, yeah, let's show you how it works. It's pretty exciting. Right, we're in sofa mode. There's going to be a big mattress on here. Um, loads of scatter cushions, obviously, a la Courtney. Um, and, and this is going to be how the van is most of the time when we're working and living our daily lives. But then when we want to relax a bit more, this can come here or it can go all the way out into bed mode. And then... When we're in bed mode, we've got um, a seating area that's going to be down here, which is going to fill in the cushions into here to make a nice big double bed. Um, the bed is 170 wide, is that correct? Yeah, 165, 168, I think, wide. Yeah. So, so it's, it's wider than a normal double. Yeah, but it's still not wide enough to sleep sideways this way. Um, so that's why we've got the extension so we can sleep this way. It's like 180 long. Yeah, I think something like that. Um, Which is slightly shorter than a normal double, I think. But still long enough for us. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is hopefully going to allow us to have the flexibility of relaxing area and sleeping area, but still having the benefits of the seating area for us to do work in, because um, that is like half our week is working. So we'd be silly not to have a really good dedicated space. Um, we come from the dinette crew as well from uh, the last one where we had to make the bed each day. Um, whilst there still will be some making of the bed, as I've just shown you, it's a lot easier than taking the table down, getting the covers out, moving the cushions in, putting the table down, putting the bed on. Whereas the bed will be made, you just need to pull the bedding over onto this bit. So, did I miss anything? Um, maybe just explain for anyone who hasn't seen a previous video how the supports work. Yeah. 
really simple support. So we've got these big pieces of uh, stud wood. Yeah, like timber. It's like I think it's a timber soft frame. wood actually. Yeah. yeah. Um, that are fifty wide by thirty deep. Um, that our bed struts metal bars sit on. Um, we've also got little blocks of wood on the bottom there, so there's a bit of a softer contact. And then these are just screwed in with 10 centimetre self tappers right in through the wood, through our um, window frame struts and into the van, uh, into the cavity. So they've got a really strong covering. And as you can tell, there's moving. no movement. And, and this, even when it's pulled out as well, it, it's yeah. exactly the same concept. So. Yeah. And this this wall isn't actually connected to the um, metal frame. Uh, it's only connected to the bottom of the struts and to the floor. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, like a, like, it's like a stud wall. Isn't yeah, it? like a floating wall, um, which then separates off the garage area. And then this will obviously be fronted with something nice uh, when it's done. So let's show you how we did it. And five minutes in and we've already encountered an issue with our magic solution. Not so magic now, is it? <laughs> so when we push these in, obviously they're not stuck to this beam yet, but just to get the idea, obviously they're curved um, to give them the bounce that you need on a bed. But then when you push them in, they fall down. So that's not gonna it's, work. It's we need to it. find a way to like, so that when we slide in, they slide straight. Um, and that's not something that we had thought about. Brainstorm. Brainstorm. So, after some head scratching, um, we basically decided to get flat versions of this. Uh, excuse me, Barbara, I'm trying to film. <laughs> Right, one centimetre by six centimetres, ideally. That's cladding. Yeah, I know it's cladding, but I thought it might work. I think maybe this sort of stuff. No, that's curved, curving. Well, I thought we're going to get something thin enough, I don't know. So we found this stuff here, which is 90 centimetres long and about the right thickness, just a little bit thicker and the right width. Um, but it's like 650 for one of these. And then everything like, else it's is gonna be 70 thick. odd quid for what we need so we're gonna look we're gonna keep looking so we didn't quite find what we needed but we think we might have a plan of something we can try you know we're gonna try it we'll give it a go before we buy anything else we'll see you back in the van okay so the idea is we've got some off cuts of six mil ply here just like random shapes that were in the workshop and we're gonna try and see if we were to stick them to the bottom of these slats it would then maybe act as a guide so that the slats couldn't fall down here they would have to slide across and six mil is pretty light so we're hoping it's a genius creative solution <laughs> another tick in the box of courtney's genius solutions if it works <laughs> she's on fire this this van build she's all the ideas oh stop it you're too okay we think we've cracked it we're hoping we have so you can see underneath here james has secured this and once these are on so these will be glued to this beam um and essentially i'll not pull that out right now because they're obviously not attached but it means that once it comes up where it was starting to dip down there this is going to force it back up so we should have a nice smooth sliding function so two steps forward 36 back um we've just uh we've just started to glue the new bed sl slats down that will be part of the extension and as we did we've noticed a bit of a what we think is a problem that the curve on these is much much higher than the ones that we've cut because we've cut them down from a bigger size we've cut the curve out um so one it looks weird and two we're kind of worried about where these are going to sit and how easy they'll be to get out because they'll be higher than the ones that will support the mattress at this end of the bed 
Um, it's also made us question how we've actually built this in that we've got a fixed middle strut here mainly because the slats we've used were too short to go all the way across the meter span. So what we're actually going to do or thinking about doing is taking these fixed short ones off and loosening the screws that hold this middle bar down and making it that the middle bar here and the front bar are connected by these um, slats so they'll move in unison so they'll be secure at each end and then we're going to get the same slats for the back piece and put them on the fixed bits at the back and on the third bar which will then give us a uniform curve across the whole bed when in and out and mean that the moving mechanism, so struts two and four, will work together. So that that will mean that these won't wobble when they come out or go back in, and they'll have a lot more force behind them when moving. It means that we've got to do, we've got to remove this ply mechanism that we've put in which I'm okay about because it's really ugly and not very proud of it as a solution. And also it stops the ventilation so the idea of having bed slats the point yeah. of it is so that you get the spring from the curvature and you've got the ventilation through your mattress so you get air, air circulation yeah. and by putting the ply in there we've kind of stopped that from happening in the middle section. Yeah it is the better solution for how we want the bed to work and you don't want to like half ass the bed because it's where we sleep and it's a really big moving mechanism so yeah it's really important and we want to do it right basically so as annoying as it is to have to take steps backwards and redo it that's all part of building a van Ta-da! Glued down, we're just going to leave it overnight to dry and test our sliding mechanism in the morning. If it works, we're geniuses. If it doesn't, we can just... We'll just rip it out again, just do it a third time round. Getting quite good at that, aren't we? Yeah. Right, is that enough for tonight? Yes. Good night. Good morning! morning. It is freezing it's like it says it's minus seven what is that all about what is that what is that all about what are you from? I sound like. a little bit okay so we haven't tried it yet we've literally just come outside but the glue has stuck on the bed sat so we're gonna try the mechanism and see if it works okay i'll meet you you go in i'll meet you at the back okay oh like if the, if if we hadn't come up with a solution this is how much space our bed would take up we'd have only this much space for kitchen when actually we're gonna have kitchen and then a pantry which will obviously be lower down here we've got a solution for that we have a creative solution for that so come back in another video for when we try and put that together to try and make it full height and then over here And instead we're going to be able to have a seat here then a fold up table and then another seat here so we're gaining a meter of living space that's crazy crazy okay so let's try and get some self tappers in these then guess what we've got another problem it's all fun here you know this is the reality of building a van, I promise you that. Um, our drill is not powerful enough to go through these beams, so we have tried using self-tappers, 
small ones then we've tried using self tappers with wing nuts so that they're supposed to like cut into the metal still no luck and we've tried pre-drilling through the through the wood through into the metal to try and pre-drill a hole that the self tappers can um pull down into and still like it's barely making a dent in in the metal so it's no surprise really our drill is actually like a 18 volt McAllister or something it's this and it was like four, 30 or 40 quid or something so it's no surprise really so James is off now to screw fix to upgrade our drill to a 230 volt corded which will be so much more powerful so we're excited to try that show me what you're working with Wait, now get the old drill and do it. <laughs> Quite the difference. <laughs> I hope this works. Got it? Mm hmm. Oh yeah! <laughs> well, that was quite the difference. What a beast. Literally, we were there for like 60 seconds trying to get oh, through more. with the old drop more and it didn't even make a dent. That was about four seconds. So if you're using a rubbish, I was going to use a worse word, rubbish drill, go, this was 60 quid. 60 quid. Like, it's just going to make your life so much easier. So... And our drill, that's like our most used tool. Yeah. So it's I mean, worth it. it. This, this is a little bit big. Yeah, it's maybe honest. a little bit overkill, but... For stuff when you're going through metal, don't even bother with anything else, literally. Don't even bother. <laughs> and now we can use the little drill to put our screws in. Nice. I wonder if we even need to pre-drill them with how powerful that is. Do you think we could just try with a self-tapper? Um, it's so quick, might yeah. as well. Okay, we'll keep going. Oh, taking all the glue, but we are screwed in. We're screwed in at both ends, and we're gonna do a mechanical test. Right, are camera is ready? in. Camera's in position. Oh, it doesn't have handles on it yet, so. Okay. <laughs> Yeah! Oh, okay. Oh, it's bedtime. Oh, no, daytime. Buddy. Buddy of a man. <laughs> I am buzzing. How are you feeling? Exhausted. Now that it's in and it's working, after like, what, a week overall of... of... of back two and steps forth. forward, one step back? I mean, it shouldn't be that complicated, but, oh, good night. Back to present day. So yeah. hopefully that gave you an insight into how this whole construction went. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't smooth sailing, like we say. No week is really, is it? No, it's not. And it's never just like as simple as what Instagram or other YouTube videos often show you. They don't show you the bits that went wrong and then that had to get redone. So, so yeah we're dead happy with it <laughs> anyway we hope you enjoyed it uh hopefully it was honest and yep. that's what we're trying to do here on this channel is show you the reality mm -hmm. so come back for the next one when i think we'll be doing our vinyl floor showing you how we've laid that mm -hmm. and maybe moving on to some of the construction of the seating area or the kitchens whichever yep. we come to first so if you don't already um please consider subscribing to our channel because if you want to help, it's the best way you can help us grow. Thank you. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye.